Welcome to Fast Tip Friday. This is Amy Balzarans with Litigation Support Guru. In today's tip, I want to show you how to use regular expressions to search for custom text and then redact it. So in this example, I have a 30-page PDF that has Bates numbers on it. And let's say that the attorney has asked you to remove all of the old Bates numbers. So we're going to add a redaction that's a white color so that it basically hides that Bates number. So we're going to go to Tools and we're going to go to Protection. And first we need to go into Redaction Properties and set up the redaction. So in this case we're trying to basically hide the fact that there was a Bates number there. So we're going to change it from black to white, and then we don't need to add the word redacted or anything on it. So I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to go to search and remove text. So one of the options in search and remove text is to search for patterns. And if you drop down this list, you have things like phone numbers, credit cards, social security numbers. And I did a Fast Tip Friday video on this uh, last week. So this week I wanted to show you how to customize the patterns by using regular expressions. So as you see I've added an option here called Bates Numbers. So first we're going to do it and then I'm going to show you how I did it. So I'm going to choose Bates Numbers and you can see that this is going to search for a pattern that looks like a Bates Number that is eight digits with a three-letter prefix. And it doesn't matter if the prefix has uppercase or lowercase letters. And then I've also added a um, part of the regular expression, make sure that it's only going to find whole words and not partial words. So for instance, I'm telling it to look for eight characters. I don't want it to find you know, three letters of the prefix and eight characters as part of this nine character Bates number. Okay, so here's an example of what it will find and including a lowercase letter. So as you can see, our Bates numbers are three capital letters and then eight digits. So I'm going to click on search and remove text and it will automatically try to find all the values and it looks like you can click on them to go to them but you can also see this says page 2, page 3, page 4. So you can pick and choose which ones you want obviously but in this case we want to redact all of the Bates numbers in the document. So I'm just going to click check all and then down here I'm going to say mark checked results for redaction. And then over here you can see that this is the Bates number and when I mouse over it you'll see that it's the white redaction is making it look like it almost wasn't there. So we're going to come over here and click on apply redactions and click OK. And then it says redaction successfully applied and do you want to remove hidden information? You would say yes normally. Then it would go find anything that's hidden and then you would probably say remove you can pick and choose again but most of the time we say remove okay so then you end up with a redacted document that doesn't show any Bates numbers on it anymore so that's pretty cool okay so how did I get when I choose um, new search, how did I get the Bates numbers option to show here? You actually have to edit a file behind the scenes in your Adobe Acrobat folder. So right here is I'm using version Adobe XI, which is Adobe 11. So in my on my C drive. There is a folder for Adobe, Adobe Acrobat 11, and then eventually in this path you get to a redaction folder. And in the redaction folder are different countries. 
So this one is the United States. And this is the file that you're going to edit. So you need to make sure that Adobe Acrobat is closed when you edit the file, or you need to restart Adobe Acrobat. All right, so here's the XML file. Now, don't be alarmed uh, because it is pretty um, crazy looking, but it's actually pretty easy to read. So for instance, if I click right here on set, the first entry is phone numbers. So that's the first entry when we drop this down over here, phone numbers. And then it's asking, you know, what's the regular expression? So that's this part right here. And then this part is the description. So when we choose phone numbers, you'll see this is the description that shows. So each one of these has a section of this file. So here's entry one, entry two, entry three. So in order to add one for Bates numbers, I basically just went to the, the date one was kind of long. So I actually went to the email address one and I copied the entire entry. And that is from the first set command all the way through the closing set. So this is an entire entry here. So I copied all of that and I pasted it at the bottom. And when you do that, you just need to make sure that you're doing it right before this right here. So this is a closing tag for the entire document. So just make sure that you paste it in before that. So right here is my entry six and I called it Bates numbers. And then I put in the regular expression and then I gave it a description and some examples like you saw over here. Okay, so for the regular expression, I actually worked through exactly how to get a regular expression that would match the Bates numbers on this document with the idea that I could come in here later and just edit, like for instance, if I got a document that had base numbers that were five digits, I could just change this eight to a five. So to break down this regular expression, the first code on here is this one right here. It adds a word boundary. And then there's a word boundary at the end. And what that does is it makes sure that it's only finding whole words and not part of words, like I mentioned earlier. This next part is I wanted it to be able to find not just capital letters, but uh, lowercase letters, just in case somebody was gonna edit this for their own usage. I wanted to go ahead and put that in in case, I know it didn't apply to my example, but I wanted to make sure that it was there for you in the future. So this is upper or lowercase prefixes, um, three letters, which is this right here, and of course that can change, right? And then this section is looking for any single character that's a digit and eight of them. And then like I said, the closing word boundary. So that's basically it. You come up with your regular expression, you copy one section of this XML file, you make the edits, you save the file, and then you place it in the right folder for redactions. It's a good idea to make a backup copy of the original file, of course, uh, before you go editing things. And that's it. I hope you can put this tip to good use.